Hello there and welcome to Walking Talking Gardeners with me, your host Simon and Lorna on hello. the camera. Say hello. 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 <laughs> you said hello, didn't you? And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about planting these. These are Allium giganteum. Uh, this particular one is a cultivar called Gladiator, which is uh, arguably the most popular of all the uh, the cultivars. Now this this one and the um, and the original species both have an award of merit from the Royal Horticultural Society. So you know if you buy one of these, you're going to get a, a good growing plant. Um, you know that this is the bulb, and it is not as big as mm. the bulbs you used to get. You used mm. to get uh, back in the day. You know it'd be something like the size of your hand. It's like a big clove of garlic. Like, well, it's all the same family, isn't it? Yeah, of course. But you, you can't eat the bulbs, the stems, the leaves, the flats, because it's, it's full of sulfites. If you mm. Sulfates, sulfurs of some description. And if you do eat those, you're going to make yourself sick. Mm. You're going to really give yourself a really dodgy stomach. So even though it is from the onion family, it definitely isn't an edible no. <laughs> member of the alien family. No. Um, but it's a great plant. It grows about four and a half feet, five okay. feet tall. Um, big head on it, big head probably about mm. probably up to about 10 12 inches in uh, mm. in um, diameter. Really good showing plant, you know, and, 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 the, and the, the actual sphere of it is very, very compact, very round. So it's quite a striking plant uh, when you see it in the garden. Um, all you need to do, you, they, they, they're going to plant best in full sun, but one of the key things is the depth. Now let's go down here and see. Okay. Now, because this has got the capacity to be a sizable bowl, you need to plant it much, much deeper. You know, I think there's a rule of thumb or four times the depth, but you're looking at approximately eight inches to uh, to get this in, and that's that's pretty much what we've got here. So a nice deep wow. hole yeah. like that. You don't need to put um, any kind of fertilizers in there to sort of like encourage it because that will probably encourage it just to put out a load of leaf. Yeah. So, um, and the other thing, you don't want to plant these two close together because again, because they're going to make side bulbs, and if they and, and all this does by by b becoming more dense in in its bulbs next to each other, I'm not explaining that very well. You start to get a reduction in the flower mm -hmm. uh, size. So you, you want to you don't want to plant them too many close together. So I've dug this hole here, and really, I probably only going to stick three bulbs in this. Mm. And get that one over there, okay. And um, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, what we tell that that's probably about eight inches apart. Now, you could go further apart, and if you're in a, an area that's mm. particularly prone to cold, you know, life frost, you could plant them a wee bit deeper. That really is it. Um, they're normally very tough, um, they'll, they'll support, um, sorry, they'll, they'll, they're quite good on supporting themselves in strong winds, although you could stake them, you know, if you're in a, in a particularly windy place. But really, other than watering, once I put these in, you can kind of just leave these, you know, because they don't want to be too wet, they don't want too much nutrition. They're, they're, so really, once they're in the ground, you can just leave them. So you're you going to put soil on top of them, Soil yeah. goes on top. Um, but only, all I would say is after a couple of years, if you find that the uh, flowers have become reduced, then you're going to have to put uh, like a label where you planted them for when they die back and then in the autumn lift them up separate replant them further apart okay. i think that's everything i have to say on growing giant alliums do you have anything to add Lorna? no i can't wait to see them next oh, year well in that case all we need to do now is put the soil back in mm. And that amazing. there, my viewers, is amazing. all you need to do. And uh, so with that, I will say thank you for watching. If you'd like to support our channel, then uh, subscribe. It's absolutely free. And uh, it allows you to be notified when we produce any more videos. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye.